If you've seen our other episodes of Hollywood Aerial Shot of the Week, you'll start to sense a pattern, the notion of revealing your subject, not laying your cards on the table in the first shot. How exciting was that that I just came in from the side of the frame as opposed to just being here? I'm being a little bit sarcastic, of course, but the same principles apply. I've got a belter of a shot for you, but first things first, name that tune. Name that tune, tune that guitar more like. Name that tune. This shot is from a Netflix film called Triple Frontier. It's a pretty great film. I'd actually check it out if I were you. So let's look at this. A shot of trees? No, surely it's not just a shot of trees. How boring is that? Of course it's not. We've used those trees to create layer and reveal this road. Then we see the car on it. Oh my goodness, look at that leading line going through the frame. How much does that take your eye into the image? Not only that, we see that that is the only car on the road. Pretty epic stuff. Shot continues, it's got an awesome Credence soundtrack, absolutely love it. Then we get to see the car in question. Beautiful, beautiful drone shot. I'm gonna break that down for you. Right, first up, we've got these trees. What do we tell you on this channel? Create depth to turn your two-dimensional drone shots into more three-dimensional representations of the real world. Add layers, foreground, midground, background. Here we have a foreground from which we are going to reveal the midground and background. Right, next point. We see the road, our eyes drawn to that road all the way through into the image and we see one car on the road there. At this point in watching the shot, we don't quite realize that that is the only car on the road. And by this point, we do, and it's just, just absolutely stunning. The composition, the structure, the strategy here. Also, look at the light, look at the way the sun's coming in from the right-hand side of the frame, casting those shadows so we've got a nice um, sense of shadows and light giving us more dimension in that image. Everything about it, absolutely stunning. Love it. On some of the other episodes, I've shown you shots that would be very, very difficult for you and I to replicate, but we take the principles and apply them to our work. This, however, you could pretty much do that yourself. I mean, you could fly over a hill and reveal what's on the other side. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, there's a little camera rotation there and whatnot, but by and large, that's not the world's most complicated shot. So you can do that too. When you get on location, look for something that you can park your drone behind and then just fly up to reveal what's in the, in the distance, to reveal your subject, your landscape, your person, building, whatever it is. Tell a story with those shots. I'm off to look for some more great clips for next week's episode. If you have any suggestions or you've seen anything when you're watching films or TV, please leave me a link in the comments below. I'd love to get some inspiration for future episodes on this channel. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Instagram, check out the links to our premium products below, and we will see you next time on Drone Film Guide.